What are you working on today? Tell him to subscribe to Colossus Fitness. Sweet. <laughs> He's like, nah. America. Do you, do you guys know America actually runs on Duncan? Yeah, I heard that once or twice. Oh, I know. America does not run. As let's you can see. see. <laughs> let's see if Canadians can run on Duncan. <laughs> D D. Can we get three of those frosted sprinkle donuts, please? So we usually get Tim's donuts, as you know, but this is the one Travis recommended. So we got vanilla sprinkle. It looks mad good. Like that's pretty picture perfect. Oh man. Uh, That's what we do. That's why our macro, our Tim's macros are so good because there's so much less icing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I believe the Tim's macros. Yeah, it's, they're crazy, yeah, man. Too good to be true. It's nuts. Oh, this is the best service ever. This is incredible. I love Dunkin's now. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is another reason I'm talking to you guys so you guys all are good looking. <laughs> and I'm a fan, so that's why. Aw, oh, you're too sweet. Take a look at Travis's really setup. Really? Just some Dunkin' Donuts. Like, really Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, brother. Thanks, man. Happy birthday. How you doing? Tyler. Pleasure, man. Nice to meet you. Kyle, nice to meet you, man. Nice to How's meet you going? Man. Come on in, guys. Thanks, man. So they have three dogs that hang out here, and they're just absolutely adorable. Are you going to spot Josh? No. Hey! I got him like... So many issues, but they're so damn quick to forget you. What I gotta do to make this hit you? Like, what I gotta do this to get a little love? What I gotta do this to get a couple hugs? Make you addicted to me like you addicted to drugs? Say, damn, a rhyme, that's what's up. Man, I've been on these beats trying to kill this game. I got the nerve to say that I changed. Got you right, no loose ends, no holding back, no, no fake friends, no lies, no hate. Got too much to lose my plate. This top spot feels great. Now, hand me over my cake, man. What's wrong? No. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, this born like this, immaculate conception. I transformed like this, performed like this, was you a new weapon. I don't contemplate, I meditate. Paranoid key dog, I see dead people. I see you before you come in, I'm looking through the people. Heart cold, I bought, I close lights out. Talk hard, pipe down. So, one of the keys to our cut is using diet drinks. So, Travis just hooked us up with one of these diet orange crushes. It tastes amazing. We actually, I don't believe we've had these in Canada. So, if you guys can get your hands on one, highly recommend trying it out. Oh, you got cookies and cream, eh? If you guys saw Travis's video, I don't know if it's up yet or if it will be. Hooked us up with some Halo Top. This is our first time ever trying this. This thing is crazy good macros, 320 calories per pint, one serving. So, for 80 calories, 2.5 fat. 14 carbs, 6 protein. Oh wow. So these macros are almost unbelievable. So let's see if it actually tastes good. I've had Arctic Zero, which is pretty good still, but. Mmm. He wasn't lying, eh? Oh, that's so good, man. It tastes like full fat. Wow. 240 calories. 
You get Ben and Jerry's and that's like over Or you're, you're Dairy Queen, bro. Or Dairy Queen even for a blizzard, but you get... This actually tastes good. If we had this food, it's in Canada, I'd be so shredded. Man, I'd have it every day. Yeah, it's <laughs> legit. Wow. I'm telling you. It's a man right it's there. Six dollars a pint. <laughs> no! It was so close, it said it, it worked. It worked, and then calibration failed. We're gonna get it to go. No! Did it not work? DJI, calibration failed. Oh. Later. This sucks. <laughs> it's like it's like on Christmas when you get a new toy. I remember one time I got a PlayStation, and that this was at the time when t TVs were like just like coming along with like the plugins, and no one could set up the stupid PlayStation. So I had this PlayStation in the box, and I couldn't play it. <laughs> That's how I feel about this drone right now. If I get it in the air. I'll, I will be legitimately the happiest person that's ever walked on this earth. It's gonna happen today. Oh no. So frustrated. <laughs> I wanna break this thing so bad. I really wanna take a baseball bat to this. channels to vlog make content <laughs> that's nuts that's up oh, well. so starting off probably the most expensive piece of equipment we have we have the DJI Phantom 4 hopefully you guys have already seen some badass shots of that already all in that's about 2600 uh, we bought an extra battery because these batteries don't last too long in my opinion this alone is like 250 bucks, but brick. drone is unreal. At least the the Phantom 4 has been very uh, It's worked well for us <laughs> This was so worth it in my opinion. So these are the, the let's see how big are these? I think it's four terabytes. I think they are four terabytes. Yeah. This was not cheap. This is about 350 bucks. But we had our Seagate's break, and that was really annoying because we lost a ton of good footage that we wanted to upload. So by getting these, it's actually so worth it. You can run it over by a car. I think they're like shock proof and everything. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna actually do it, I recommend spending the money on that. And it's pretty lightweight for what it is. Um, this is some memory card holder. We have so many memory cards. We factored into about 250 bucks for all three of us. Yeah, they're not all there, but that's what we use. We just actually picked up this lens. You guys have probably seen it a good amount of times. It's a 10 by 20 Sigma lens. So Josh, uh, we both wanted it like crazy because the lens that we actually use is the 18 by 35. It's crazy heavy. And this one is just more of like a vlogging lens. It's like kind of still art. It, I don't know, it's pretty, but it's just not as heavy. So It's wider too if we want to get in the so car and do a shot like that. This thing's sick. This is the JBL splash proof speaker. This was about a hundred bucks in New Hampshire when we got it with Scott Herman. And this thing has been incredible whenever you play basketball, you're outside chilling, you need to bump some beats, you're good to go. Speaking of, and then in terms of charging, this will charge your iPhone about six times over. So if you're out on the go, I just picked this up for about 70 bucks. I don't even know what it exactly is. <laughs> TP Link. It's got two USB ports. Uh, Kyle also has this charging case, which is huge. Travis was like, What do you do if your phone's going to die at the Mavic? And he said, Buy a charging case. 
So this thing will always worth it. give your phone an extra round of juice. They don't have it for the plus, the six plus or seven plus, which sucks, but what can you do? So this is Josh's GoPro. He'll talk about that. That's the GoPro Silver Plus. We haven't used this much. If you guys saw back in the day with the biking videos, a lot of skateboarding and then cliff jumping water things, this is used more. But overall, I can't say we use this enough, but we'll find times. So. Yeah. So uh, one thing I highly recommend, especially if you're out for the entire day and you don't want to have to worry about like, you know, charging batteries or anything, we always have like more batteries than we need. So we have about three Canon 70D batteries. On top of that, we have this Joby, which was like about 110, 120 American. So it's like 150, 160 or something like that. It's good, but you guys have seen, we'll probably put a clip right here. Good too. Man. It doesn't uh, exactly support a heavy camera like the one that we use, but with this lens, it does support it. Um, like we said, a lot lighter. So hopefully we'll be able to use this a lot more. The next off we have the G7X. This thing's incredible for what it is. It's a bit slow to focus, but the quality is incredible for how small and compact of a camera it is. Um, so basically we have the 18 by 35 Sigma art lens. This is just beautiful. Travis has the same one or he kind of did, but he upgraded. He'll show you guys that. Um, and then this is the 70D, and the 70D has just been fantastic. How are you starting? The big dog? Big dog. Sony A7S II. I did have the Canon 70D, which is an amazing camera, especially the autofocus on there. And I would recommend anyone for I would recommend anyone use that camera. But this, the pros to this is it's 4K. The night vision is unreal. We went out in pitch black last night and we were just recording like it was in the middle of the day. And the slow motion on this. You can shoot 240 frames per second. This is my baby. I love everything about it. The issue with this is it's very, very expensive. So just the body is about $3,200, $3,300 USD. So you guys can do all that fancy conversion stuff. <laughs> Put it on the Too screen. much. Yeah, write it on the screen or something. But the lens is $1,200 USD alone. So you're looking at a very expensive setup just to vlog. And one thing to keep in mind is it does not have the full articulating screen. So you can't see yourself, which for me, it hasn't been that big of a deal, but it definitely is a pain at times. So if you combine this camera with this gimbal, it is just, the, the footage, is amazing so this is a recent purchase this runs you about eight hundred dollars but it just gives you the, the the smoothness that you cannot recreate with just holding the camera and it just makes everything look so professional and this was probably my favorite investment that I've made even over the actual camera I feel like I could have less of a camera and this and still make some amazing looking shots um, like they said I do also have the Sigma that I used on my Canon I have an adapter for my Sony but I just haven't found much use for it this right here is a 55 millimeter lens for the Sony, and it is great for pictures. It's a 1.8 aperture, so you can really get that bokeh that a lot of people are looking for, that blurry background. So this is a definitely, a definitely a nice pickup. It was about a thousand bucks, which honestly for these Sony lenses isn't too bad. Um, I also have the Joby Gorilla Pod, which I hate. I refuse to put this camera on. Don't even get me started on that thing. But it's, I don't hate that as much as I hate this drone right here. <laughs> this drone is a DJI Mavic that people love. I'm not even smart enough to get it off the ground. So I guarantee you within a week they'll go to your channel when they subscribe and they'll be like, wow, that is some sick drone footage. We'll we're going to make it work. We'll <laughs> see. So if I had a baseball bat, this thing would be crushed in two by now. But we, I'm not going to get on a rant about that. But <laughs> when it works, it does put out some pretty great footage. The Rode Mic, highly suggest this over, this is the Rode Mic Pro. There's also a Rode Mic Go, which is about half the cost, but they just are not as up to par uh, quality wise. They break a lot. So I recommend just going with this, buy nice or buy twice. And I think that's everything for me. How about this just, table here, bro? Yeah, oh, this table was given to me by some family friends. So it was zero dollars and zero cents. You have two things right here. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas. Sony RX. So this was, um, I used to use this for vlogging, vlogging a bit. Um, once you're introduced to 4K, it's kind of hard to go back to anything less. The Sony RX 5 does have 4K, but this is the three older gen version. Um, it's an okay camera. I don't use it much, but it does a trick. GoPro. I use this, I think, one time. Um, it's just, it's, I don't do action sports and stuff like that. I'm not that exciting. I'm not that fun. So this is, uh, I think it's nice when you have, like, if you're going swimming, if you're going some, like, outdoors, outdoorsy, adventurous, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But moral of all of this, amazing camera, amazing gimbal. If I had to choose one thing, it would be this gimbal. Another thing, lots of money. Lots of money. I would choose that for my one thing, too. Yeah, yeah. we'll get it soon.